In our oceans lie the biggest mysteries of our world. It's one of the reasons why divers are fascinated with the bottom of the ocean. And it's due to their relentless submerging in the darkest depths of our seas that we've made some of the most bizarre discoveries. These span from shipwrecks that were deemed forever gone to entire submerged cities that we didn't even know about. Stay close to explore with us those exciting discoveries made by deep-sea divers. The Order Cave Cave exploration is one of the favourite activities for many divers. It takes places like the Order Cave to hook divers in an endless appreciation of the ocean. Deep in the bedrock underneath the Ural Mountains in Russia, this is one of the longest underwater caves we've ever discovered. But not only does it offer hours and hours of exploration, the visibility here is one of the most pristine on the planet, matching the sinkholes of the Yucatan Peninsula. Don't worry though, you won't find any anacondas swimming around in these waters. It seems that the clarity is given by the gypsum rock, which filters the water. It's also incredibly cold at only 4 degrees Celsius, making it suitable for dry suit diving only. Giant Anaconda Some dive in the hope of discovering archaeological treasures. Others, however, have more of an adrenaline-triggered wish to dive with sharks. The second category includes diver Bartolomeo Bove, a professional underwater videographer and shark diver. But coming face to face with the largest snake in the world was a special experience even for risk-taker Bove. And hear this, on purpose too. It appears there's a specific place, the Formose River in Brazil, where people go to swim with the anacondas. Normally, anacondas prefer murky waters, but for some reason they also thrive in the crystal clear waters of this river, making it the perfect place to photograph the magnificent snake. The specimen found by Bove and his partner was particularly stunning, a 23-foot-long female of nearly 200 pounds. As it turns out, the female was actually curious and friendly, getting close to the divers and inspecting the camera before swimming away. Bove described the experience as unbelievable, adding no words can do justice to the sensations that I was really feeling. Argyronita aquatica Spiders are already terrifying enough and walk the landscapes with their revolting tentacles, but Mother Nature decided to evolve these creatures and give them the ability to breathe on the water too. Yes, you heard it right. The Argoranita aquatica makes up its own makeshift gills by capturing nothing but air bubbles from the surface with the help of its web. With the air in the bubble, the spider breathes in and swims in the water. Since the bubbles can't last for a long time, these spiders stay close to the surface in order to refill their DIY oxygen tanks. Well, although it's fascinating to see how smart they are, divers or snorkelers would definitely be terrified to bump into one. So, next time you're diving into the waters, make sure to not bump into this little guy. Brinicle of Death You never know what you might find in the sea floor. It could be a dangerous unknown creature, or something like the Brinicle of Death. Brinicle is an underwater phenomenon that's also called the Ice Finger of Death. It destroys and freezes everything that comes in its way. It's not man-made, but totally natural, where it forms only under warm temperatures in the ocean floor when compared to the surface. This is rare, but not quite in the polar regions. Since the brine is denser than water, it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, where the hollow tube of ice is created, and that is a brinicle. It resembles an icy water tornado and takes in everything under its spinning abode. So, if you happen to see brine, you know what to do. Captive Dugongs Dugongs are plump and goofy sea animals, and they're relatives of manatees. They make you go, ah every time you see them. But when Delon Lim and his co-divers were swimming in the depths of the sea in the remote island of Kokoya in Indonesia, they couldn't believe what they saw. A mother and calf dugong were held captive against their will, tied to a rope in a cage. Judging by the scars and rope marks, they'd been held captive not for weeks, but for several months. The divers immediately jumped the gun to make things right, and they found out a local fisherman was doing this heinous crime for just a few bucks from the tourists. The divers try to convince the fishermen to release the creatures because they are a protected species and are also vulnerable to extinction. The fishermen agreed to do so, but later it turned out to be nothing but false words. So Lim and the other divers posted the video of the poor dugongs on social media, and the rest is history because the animal rescue officials set them free for good. In this cruel little world, we need more people like Lim to save the unfortunate sea creatures. So, kudos to you, Lim. Gnomes in the Lake Forget about giant octopuses, chitulu, and megalodons. Simple objects at the bottom of the ocean look much creepier. 
Look at what a group of divers in Loch Finn in Scotland have discovered at a depth of 30 metres. Garden gnomes. The appearance of one of them could be explained as an incredible coincidence, but where did this collection come from? Most of these figures have been underwater for years, but one figure looks new. Apparently, the owner added it recently. Not far from this place, there's another lake, Loch Ness, where the very famous Loch Ness monster lives. Maybe Nessie has something to do with this. Gold treasure. Sometimes diving feels like winning the lottery. That must have been the feeling for Zika Feyer and his team when they stumbled across a 2,000 gold coin treasure, the largest ever found in the region of Caesarea, Israel. Interestingly, Zvika had scuba dived in the area a lot of times before with no clue of the treasure that waited to be discovered. First, he saw a glimmer in the sand of the ocean floor, which had just been stirred up by the previous night's violent storm. He expected to find a discarded sweet wrapper, like a chocolate coin, but instead he found a real Arabic gold coin. Sweeping more and more sand aside, Zvika found another coin, and then another, and another, until he realized what he stumbled upon. Together with the Israeli Antiquities Authority, the divers recovered an entire long-lost treasure of 24 karat gold. It was later revealed that one single coin would cover a one-month salary for a military soldier, so the entire treasure could have been used to hire a 2,000-soldier army for a month. Alien in Russia Imagine you finally decide to practice diving. You're a little nervous at first, and it's difficult to navigate in the muddy water, and suddenly you're staring head-on with a huge xenomorph. Most likely, you'll be swimming out at a frenzied speed while hoping to survive this ordeal. However, divers in the Russian city of Anapa decided that a three-meter copy of an alien at the bottom of the Black Sea is a great way to entertain tourists. The divers created it themselves using thousands of details and installed it with a crane. According to them, the sculpture of the alien monster will help tourists remember the visit for life, and we think that it's definitely going to be the case. Giant Jellyfish in yet another incredible encounter during deep diving, two divers came across the largest jellyfish ever photographed in the UK. Dan Abbott and Lizzie Daly were documenting marine encounters for a week and were supposed to film blue sharks when they accidentally met an even more humbling creature, a giant jellyfish. These gentle giants can grow up to 35 kilograms with bills of almost one meter in diameter. Ms. Daly later said she had her face in some kelp when she looked back and noticed the jellyfish. Only by then getting closer did she realize how enormous the creature actually was. You'd think she'd be a bit scared, but it turns out the giant jellyfish are not actually considered dangerous, with only a mild sting. They are indeed gentle giants. Skeleton Lake There are some days when you find lost valuables like jewelry in lakes, but then there are those days when you find skeletons emerging from a lake which haunt you for the rest of your life. No, this is not just a figment of imagination, but an actual occurrence which took place in the Rupkund Lake in the Uttarakhand state of India. This shallow two-meter deep lake revealed jaw-dropping 200 skeletons, where the bodies still had flesh, leather clothing and jewellery on them. After analysing, it was found that the skeletons were 1,200 years old. But why weren't the skeletons found earlier, you might think? Well, it's observed for at least 11 months, the lake is totally covered in a thick blanket of ice and snow. So, when the skeletons were discovered, scientists were totally baffled with the view. So, next time when you want to spend a jovial time near the lake, take it with a grain of salt because you never know as to what can be found. The Longest Sea Animal Ever On April 6, 2020, the deep sea in Ningaloo Coast in Australia unveiled an approximately 30 new marine species. But wait, that's not all. The researchers found out the longest animal ever actually lived beneath us in the ocean's depths. This thread-like creature is not a new species, since scientists already know it as siphonophore, a little sea predator made up of identical creatures called zooids. They combine together as one large string in the ocean where they can reach a whopping length of 130 feet. But this siphonophore is unlike any other because its outer rings spread out to 154 feet long and when combined, this creature's total length is more than 390 feet, making it the longest animal ever to swim in planet Earth. Mind-blowing, right? Underwater River If we were to pick only one unbelievable sight out of all, it would be this one. Divers were always aware of the strange things they can encounter below the water's surface. Even so, no diver ever expected to find an underwater river. I know, that hardly seems plausible, 
But today, thanks to divers' explorations of the sinkholes of the Yucatan Peninsula, we know that underwater rivers do exist. The sinkholes were found to be full of treasures from Mayan artifacts to incredible caves. However, the most astounding phenomenon discovered in the Cenote Angelita sinkhole was the eerie underwater river hidden just 100 feet below. If you're wondering how the river formed, so did we. It appears it was created due to different densities of water. The first 29 meters are formed of fresh water, while the layer below contains hydrogen sulfide, which is heavier. When the two meet, a cloudy phenomenon resembling fog is created, giving the river a magical appearance. That's the kind of discovery that shakes up everything we know about how the ecosystem works. Legos Not just the bottom of the ocean is terrifying or interesting, but sometimes a few things pop up out of the ocean and make their way onto shore. This time, it's not any living creature, but something that's non-living, yet very famous. One fine day in October 2011 in Florida, an 8-foot-tall, 100-pound fiberglass Lego man was found floating on the Siesta Key Beach in the south of Sarasota. The front of the Lego man had a green torso which read, No more real than you are, and on the back, number 8 was etched with the words, Ego Leonard. But this is not the first time that such large Legos were randomly found floating on the surface, where it's been observed that earlier these Legos were found floating in the beaches of not only England but also the Netherlands. In 2012 and 2014, the Legos had been seen floating yet again in the beaches of California and Japan. Pretty intriguing, isn't it? Which is the most strange or terrifying creature or thing you've witnessed in the ocean or the surface? Let us know in the comments below. Giant Knife Take a look at this truly extraordinary image which shows a team of scuba divers who retrieved a giant bladed object from the bottom of the ocean. The odd truth is almost nothing could be found about this object, although the image was believed to have been captured by a team of professional scuba divers back in 2014. Ever since the image hit the web, from private message boards to scuba diving forums, the people behind the photograph have never claimed ownership. Astonishingly, many people believe that this giant blade is yet another evidence pointing towards an ancient forgotten mystery. The thing is, some people believe that the giant blade is indicative of giant humanoids who once roamed the planet, and this was potentially a tool of theirs. Or perhaps even a weapon. While most are skeptical, it's certainly an interesting theory given the fact that dozens of ancient bladed artifacts have been unearthed from the bottoms of lakes, rivers, and oceans throughout history. Until more details come out, this mystery will remain unsolved. Human Gyre This one takes us to the Atlantic Ocean. A few years ago, off the coast of the Spanish island of Lanzarote, the first underwater museum in Europe was opened, El Museo Atlantico. Its collection includes more than 300 sculptures, but we have bad news for people who expect to see some fish or jellyfish among them. The main installation immediately tests the mental strength of the divers. It's a terrible gyre of 200 life-sized human figures. Its author, Jason DeCanis Taylor, claims that it's a symbol of our relationship with water. Mr. Taylor certainly has a wild imagination. Before moving to number one on this list, take a look at this. Monster Fish Our first dive will take us to Lake Neuchâtel in Switzerland. Its maximum depth is 152 meters. At first, the flashlights only illuminate the stones and algae. But what is this strange silhouette? It's a huge, toothed and scary fish that looks like a hybrid between a crazy shark and an anglerfish. Imagine seeing this creature through a foggy mask. Would you realize it's just a sculpture before you have a heart attack? Of course, local divers know this place very well and think it's a prop that was left here after being used for a movie. Luckily, it doesn't move, but the fish around it also have frozen strangely. Prop or not, this monstrosity is bound to scare off any unsuspecting divers. What about you? Which of these underwater sites are you dying to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.